And um, one of the other things I'll do is uh, one of the suggestions we received after the meetings was if we would, were able to share a screen uh, with a map so people could sort of visualize um, what area we were discussing. So I will um, share my screen. And let's see here. Uh, John, could we ask you um, to give folks an update on the uh, engineering work underway? Uh, okay, um, let's start with uh, the two, we have two paving projects. Um, first paving project, the contractor is Barrett Construction. Um, right now they're focusing their efforts uh, on Clinton Street uh, at the Clinton Square area. Um, Bacon Festival is coming up on this weekend. Um, so right now they've uh, paved up to Binder, um, which is the second last course of asphalt on the section of Clinton that they reconstructed. Um, they're going to concentrate their efforts on the, the next few days to tidy that up, uh, secure any areas where they remove pavers, um, address any tripping hazards so it, it's uh, safe for the festival. So that's where you're going to see most of their construction activity elsewhere along their, their limits, which are Clinton, Jefferson, Warren, um, in Montgomery, they've done some preliminary work, some uh, ADA corner construction. Um, but uh, after the Bacon Festival, they're, they're going to concentrate their efforts then on completing Clinton Street and then moving on to the other streets. Uh, so that's the update on that that project. The second paving project is with Seneca Stone. Uh, that project is concentrating on Salina and State Street. Uh, right now, they're in the uh, 400 block of Salina Street. They've completed uh, paving uh, to the binder course. Right now, um, they're adjusting adjusting any structures in there. They're bringing them up to uh, the final grade. Um, currently, we're still operating that uh, section of Salina Street in, in one-way direction northbound. Um, we're going to evaluate opening that up after uh, the structures are adjusted. Um, but I do know the next phase back where they've got some full re pulled up reconstruction is the intersection of Salina and Onondaga. Um, there's a lot of uh, utility manholes in that area. Uh, so we're, we're gonna assess how we're gonna uh, move traffic through there. Uh, so we may maintain that um, current closure for um, a longer duration, but that's got to be assessed. and. With that assessment in mind, we have to take into consideration the water department work. I know they've moved, uh, they're starting to move into the next block of Jefferson, but the block of Jefferson between Clinton and Salina that they were in, it's still not open to traffic. Um, so we just have to evaluate um, their work zone traffic control with any of our planned construction. Um, once that full debt reconstruction is complete, in the West Onondaga Salina Street intersection, the intent then would be to start milling and paving operations from Adams, uh, go up to Fayette Street, maybe a little bit further, maybe possibly to Washington Street, and then complete the top paving along that section. Um, and that would complete the paving on Salina Street from MLK all the way to Washington, or, or at least Fayette Street. And we still have to then get from Fayette Street um, to North State Street on Salina Street. And there's uh, similar to what's going on on Clinton Street. Uh, there's some reconstruction in Clinton Square. We're moving the curb on the Clinton Square side two feet west. Um, so there'll be some brick paver removals and construction in that area. Um, State Street is progressing. Uh, there's altering some structures and continuing the paving and milling operations along State Street. Um, and soon we should start the final striping on some of the areas that have been top paved. Uh, we'll start to look a little bit more um, organized once we start the striping, which will include bike lanes, parking lanes. Um, so you'll start to see a better product. Um, that's, that's it from the paving projects. Any questions for John on the paving uh, plans he just covered? Uh, we do see Ryan Dorward is on here as well. Um, Ryan, by any chance, are you giving an update today on the water department's work? Okay, 
we'll, we'll come back to that. Um, Chris Gorman, uh, anything uh, you'd like to oh, share? Sorry, with I was on mute. Oh, okay, thanks, Ryan. I'm sorry about that. I muted my phone up there. Um, yeah, so for the water department work right now, DJ Lane is uh, they're moving on East Jefferson between Salina and Bank Alley. They're going to be doing all the work. I think the address number is 359 South Salina in front of the check cashing place. We're figuring out the detour right now. Uh, it looks like garbage trucks are going to have to come from the east heading west. And then once they complete that little stint right there, they're going to flip to the other side of Bank Alley and continue. So you're talking right here, they're working right now um, at the, the, the uh, Jefferson Center building on the corner. And then after that, they'll be moving between, I guess, to the eastern side um, of Jefferson between Bank Alley and South Warren Street. Yes, that's correct. Uh, are there any uh, updates? Are you, then you will you continue moving east with the water department's work? Yeah, so after they finish up that little section between Salina and Bank Alley, Bank Alley and South Warren, they're going to be finishing up between South Warren and Montgomery. Okay. Do you have any uh, time frames you're able to tie to those? I think we were giving it a week a block. So next, next week, the week of the 16th, we should be in between Warren and Montgomery. And I would say half a week for each side of South Line of the Bank Alley, Bank Alley to South Warren. And then uh, another question we had here is um, once West Jefferson Street reopens, um, will it then stay open or will it close again for the paving work? So this may be a question for John. Um, that's that most likely is to be closed. Um, we have full debt reconstruction to do on that block between Clinton and Salina, uh, based on the water department's uh, construction where they've almost uh, um, excavated half of the existing pavement. Uh, we have to do the other half. The most expeditious manner to get that work completed is to do a block closure uh, and uh, do, it, do, it, do it at once. So yes, that block will be closed again for um, the full debt reconstruction in in that block. Uh, once they start the final paving operations, most likely then it can be phased um, to maintain traffic, but for the full depth reconstruction due to the, the depths, uh, the existing construction that occurred there, uh, it will be shut down. Thank you. Um, any questions for? Yeah, yeah America, yeah. Yes, for, the, uh, for the closure of Fayette next week for the water project, does that impact uh, the parking lot at St. Paul's? Uh, I don't believe, Ryan, I'll let you answer that. I think um, water department is staying uh, put on West Jefferson Street. It's not, not, Faye, not Fayette? I thought he said uh, Fayette was between Montgomery and Warren. And, Ryan, do you know? No, what, I, I, I might, I might have missed spoke. If I'm I said fair, that's my apology. We're, stay, we're staying on East Jefferson. Okay, thank you. My apologies. I have a question, Ryan. Um, for the water work between Bank Alley and South Warren, are you guys going to go into that intersection there again? We shouldn't need to. No, that's why we went to the intersections. We put valves on the outside of each intersection. Okay, so, so, so traffic can still go through from um, South Warren all the way through that intersection? Yes, it should be. Okay, there. awesome. Thank you. Yep. Any other questions for Ryan? Okay, thank you. Chris, any updates from National Grid? Good morning. So um, we're still going to be following the water department on East Jefferson between 
Warren and Montgomery. So the fact that um, those indicated that the water department is going to be in there next week, um, we'll coordinate with them and uh, be in there shortly thereafter. And then once that's complete, we will move to uh, Montgomery from Jefferson Street northward past City Hall. So. And the, and the most critical block is going to be the one with the YMCA. There's a lot of services there, so we're not going to be able to do. Um, it's going to be open trench. We, we're not going to be able to do any pipe insertion, that type of thing. The blocks further north, there's going to be much less disruption. So, Chris, are you? Um, would it be helpful at all to have a specific, like a, a separate meeting with just the 300 block of Montgomery? street building owners and businesses or have you been in uh, pretty regular contact with them so they have all the information they need and then you have what you need i don't think we've done the outreach yet because we haven't been able to schedule it and we don't know when um typically the, the the biggest disruption is the day that we cut over from the old pipe to the new pipe and um we coordinate that closely with the building owners um and, and there's some flexibility there so we should be in good shape Thank you, though, for the offer. And that should be by late August, mid September, Chris. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, were there any other questions uh, from anyone else from the group or any comments? Okay. Um, I think record time with this meeting. Um, thank you all uh, so much for joining us. We'll see you in another two weeks. Thank you. Thank you.